Hey folks, welcome back to another Pokemon Masters video, and uh, ever since the update dropped yesterday, uh, I think I've had like almost like 20 or so people DM me, DM me and tell me, or, or, or you know, tag me or whatever, uh, saying, I post Fantina's in the game, Fantina's in the game, I'm like, what the heck, what, Fantina's in the game? <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I, I get it now, Fantina's in the game apparently, and she came in the game in a really weird way that I don't think any other unit has um, made this kind of an entrance before, although... To be fair, Fandir has been like in the game before in the you know main story, right? Chapter twenty-four, right? But as an actual character, right? Um, that is playable, kind of, but not really. <laughs> and and we'll explain. So apparently, if you go to the Ghost Chapter event, which we're gonna go ahead and do, and you go play with NPCs. Um, Fantina is actually one of the NPCs. <laughs> At least that's what I've heard, right? So let's go ahead and check it out. <laughs> what is this team? I don't know what this team is. This this is a really this is a really wholesome team. Anyways, <laughs> let's um, let's throw in, let's throw in Mewtwo. Where's Mewtwo? Where is Mewtwo? Ah, there we go, Mewtwo. We're gonna use Mewtwo here. Shadow Ball. He's just like, like the strongest Ghost type tracker in the game, even though he's Psychic type, <laughs> which is kind of sad. Um, let's see, what else should we throw in there? Um, I guess maybe Sabrina, because I don't know. For fun, and I, I, we're not gonna use anyone else. Me too should be enough. We shouldn't have to worry. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and do this then. Newton Sabrina. Wait, why did I just say that? <laughs> Nothing to do with anything. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> the the videos are getting me. Oh, there we go, Fantina. And Delbert. Sorry about that, Delbert. <laughs> but um. I love the Hoenn Elite 4 music, by the way. It's, it's I think it's my favorite Elite 4 music, the Hoenn, Hoenn 1. Ooh, cool, single chance. Um, all right, let's see how good or bad Fantina is. Um, honestly, I don't think Fantina is as bad as people think she is. I think she's not that bad, honestly. Oh my god. <laughs> Triggered the uh, the uh, Omnis Wind uh, buff over there. Full, um, you know, every stat buff. But yeah, um, Fantina definitely not as good as Mewtwo. But I don't think she's, like, that bad either. Like, she has okay special attack. She has Shadow Ball, right? Um, it's just that, you know, her trainer moves are... Uh, I mean, they're not they're not bad either. Like, could they have been better? Probably. But, you know, just in general, I, I don't think Fantina, Fantina's as bad as people say, as Fantina's getting absolutely destroyed here. <laughs> Which is not, you know, it's a striker. It's not supposed to take hits, right? Um... Unless, you know, we're one of the, I guess, bulkier strikers, which do exist, do exist. Um, but definitely not in our gang. <laughs> Mewtwo, Fantina, and um, Chantel. Not not very bulky. <laughs> um, Alright. Let's take the, uh, the Medicham out. Or not, we could just Unity and take it out. Did we get, uh, did we get our sync move yet? I don't think we did. Rip. Um, but yeah. Like, you got move gauge increases. You don't have a hundred percent crit plus two crit, which does kind of hurt. Honestly, it, it, I think she would have been much better if they just gave him uh, g gave her like plus two crit on on her um, trainer move, right? But uh, oh well, <laughs> what can we do? Like again, three move gauge. People are sleeping on that. Honestly, like it's not that bad because move gauge is DPS. Move gauge is DPS. It's not always just how much damage a single move does. It's also how quickly you uh, regen your move gauge. And that translates to how many um, damage you could output per second, right? And that's that's important, right? And then you got your standard X special attack, which is fine. Um, the only, again, the only unfortunate part is you don't get a hundred percent crit, and also you kind of have to. <laughs> Fantina's weird, like her her like move order is super weird because you want that crit first when you start hitting your opponent. But you also don't want to do that because that also increases your move gauges. Oh, it looks like they day change. Yeah, uh, it also increases your move gauges, which you kind of want to use after you use your moves. But then you also want to increase the crits before you use your moves to do the most damage that you can. So that's, that's it's just kind of awkward when you put both the move gauge increase and crit uh, rate increase on the same move, right? Which is unfortunate. Um, but overall. I don't think she's as bad as, as, as people think she is. Um, she just gets completely obliterated and overshadowed by Mewtwo, right? Um, which is unfortunate for Fantina, but uh, oh well, what can we do? 
Oh, there you go. Got Fanny in again. Um, I guess maybe they'll have uh, for her for all the difficulties. Uh, she's definitely better than Chantel. She's definitely better than Agatha. Um, that's for sure. You know, they're, those two are kind of sad. Uh, more damage with Dusclops. <laughs> As if I need to say that. Dusclops is a support. Although Sabrina's also a sport. <laughs> but, you know, Dusclop, you know, it's just, Dusclop does okay-ish damage for a support, but, you know, it's not anything crazy. Alright. Special defense buffs. Okay, whatever. We just crit. And all that stuff. Um, let's hit the other side. Ouch. Ouch. Um, oh, they swap places. That's, that's cute, I guess. Um, if only Omnis Wind was, like, one bar honestly if it was one bar it would be much better and like in battleville you could just spam the it, it as a one bar move and then like just you know hope for rng increases on uh, you know uh, or, or you know um rng for for the chance to increase all your stats on ominous wind so you don't have to spend any mp increasing your stats right that would be pretty cool but unfortunately it's a two bar move slightly harder to spam like unless like you know you threw in like some speed supports for or move gauge supports for it maybe um, then it won't be as bad, but yeah, it would be really nice if, you know, just lower, lower the damage, obviously, you, you know, you don't want, it's still, you don't, you don't want a one bar move doing like 47 damage, that's, that's Torkoal levels of damage, right? Uh, you don't want that, but you know, make it, I don't know, 15 damage or something? <sighs> that may be, I don't know, a bit too low, but you know, uh, something like that, and then just give it a chance to, uh, again, still a very small chance to increase all the stats. That will make Fantina much, much better, right? There's a lot of um, solutions to make Fantina much better. Um, unfortunately, she didn't come out with Syncrid, which, or, or she's not coming out with Syncrid, um, as far as our information tells us, right? Um, assuming our information is, is the data mine information is correct, which, again, that's not a really safe assumption. Um, but, yeah, who knows? It's, it's, it's weird, right? So... It's unfortunate. Like, again, like, Sabrina's already really good. Red's already super, super good. Sixth is already really, really good. And then all these three came out with Syncrits, and then, like, the one that kind of needs it didn't. <laughs> so, when it does come out with a Syncrit, that Syncrit better, better be really, really good. Um, as an excuse for um, not having it out at launch. <laughs> Which, of course, I personally actually like that. I, I'm not, like, I mean... Syncrit, like, they're exciting, but, like, they're also a lot of work to farm for. Like, unless they make Sync Orbs um, much easier to farm for, like, just having them at, at release is... Especially for me, who actually kind of does this for a living, and I have to kind of, you know, do the best I can to, to farm up Sync Orbs um, for showcase videos and all that stuff. It's a bit tiring, <laughs> I'd have to say. Um, and not the most funnest thing in the world, I'd <laughs> I'll tell you that. All right. There we go, got the Sync Orb as well, as Fantina get caught absolutely blurry there, unfortunately. Um, oh well, what can we do? So, basically this, um, this event obviously is, is a ghost type training event. You can train your ghost types in single player stage, which we're not going to go through. And also, what, are we back here again? Okay. And, and also, for, um, for dupes, or not dupes, a dupe, I guess, a dupe of... Acerola, which you could then use um, to expand her Syncrid, right? Which is helpful. Which is helpful. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's go into this again. One more time. I think I think this is off seed, right? Yeah, but uh, it should be 200 tickets to exchange for a copy of uh, Acerola, right? A oh, second copy, I guess. And that's what it's mainly for. And then you also get missions where, like, I think it's, like, do single player, the hardest stage in single player, like, a bunch of times. I think 50 times. And then you get a ton of co-op orbs, which is fantastic. <laughs> that's that's what I did uh, last night to rush my uh, Sabrina to max out her Syncrid as soon as possible. <laughs> Without this event, Sabrina probably wouldn't have been uh, maxed out that quick, right? So, these are really cool, I'm, I, and I'm glad they're doing it. Alright. Who? Oh, Phoebe. <laughs> okay, um... Yeah, yeah, just, I mean, I mean, did, did they buff? At all, or, oh, wow, damn. Is that, what, high jump kick or something? I, I, didn't, I didn't see what move it was, but... <laughs> a lot of damage. 
Um, you know what? We might be in, in a bit of a trouble. Uh, or in a bit of a trouble. We might be <laughs> slightly in trouble here. Since, I mean, just Shadow is just going down so quickly. Um, the sync move might take uh, Miss Magius out. And, or not even the sync move. <laughs> and I don't know um, what's going to happen to us over here. So, I mean, we're, we're still full, full health, but, you know, after a sync move, not sure how that's going to go. Um, let's get a Shadow Ball in. This guy's still full health. Oh my god. Did that really not do that much damage? Okay, we might be in trouble. We might be in trouble. And sorry about that's my mom <laughs> messaging me. Whatever, I, I didn't see. Um, but yeah. Because the next two <laughs> units are supports. And my Alexander is actually not in, in DPS mode right now. It's actually, I do have support gauge on <laughs> since I was, you know, running Battleville and stuff and doing um, sh the, you know, support showcase video. It's in, it's, it's in support mode right now. And that would be slightly disastrous if we do get destroyed by, by those cops' uh, sick move there. Um, that should take out the Gengar? Yes, it does. That definitely helps. Time to energize, please. Time to energize. Do, 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 do. Time to energize. Oh my god, the Gengar's not dead. Okay. We're in slight trouble here. <laughs> Time to energize. What are you doing? Giga Drain! I, I... I should have just... I should have emoted it. Oh well. But, like, here's the... I don't want, like, the other person to swap into support. So I was hoping the CPU wouldn't be wouldn't be poo poo head and um <laughs> and actually throw me a bone and, and give me time to energize and now I drew aggro oh well it doesn't matter it's just, ah we're dead oh well well now they have a dust cops out um all right triple support versus a I guess relatively high HP dust norm right oh boy. Let's, um, I guess I'm like, I'm like the only hope here, so it's like, I mean, Dusclop does okay-ish damage, Dusclop does okay-ish damage, and also it's super effective, right? Ooh, ouch, 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 ouch. Fact we got Reflect there. <laughs> Definitely helps. Um, alright, let's get the, uh, crit done, six cents. Let's get in another one, maybe. Alright. Oh my god, she's, she's so good. Even though this isn't, again, this isn't a, a DPS build. The healing. <laughs> Get healing, speed, special attack, crit, accuracy, even though we don't need accuracy, personally. Right? Oh god. Okay, again, this is not a DPS build. We're not going to do too much damage here. Um, so, brace for impact. This might be disastrous. But 1.2k is not bad. It's not bad. Um, is Snivy out of time to energize is? Put that in. All right, last one. Um, we, I think we could win, maybe. Rosa Delbert. How much damage would Rosa Delbert do? Oh, there's so someone in the back. Okay, okay. I think we got this. All this time he's almost dead, though. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, well, I really wish I swapped into Rosa Delbert first, then, and went for um. All the presents. <laughs> so it would be as bad here. Alright, um, okay, we're good, we're good. Sync move from. Oh, she's still alive? She's still alive? Okay. No, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, GG, GG. Astonish should kill it, maybe. And. Or never mind, <laughs> 19 damage, okay. <laughs> for a second, I thought it was like. For some reason, my brain thought it was like. A you know, max gridded Ace Roll, which honestly, max gridded Ace Roll Assange probably wouldn't do that much damage either. But there we go. Um, barely squeezed out a dub there <laughs> because I completely underestimated the stage and thought we would just like run through it. Like, you see, um, I think someone in my last um, training event video, um, I think I, I, I called the electric type event like the easiest tra uh, training event ever. And some, I, th I think, you know, someone talked about it. Oh, they're all easy. Not really. There, there are some difficult ones. Um, or, you know, it, it, you know, relatively, right? Generally, they're, you know, they're, they're, they're quite easy in comparison to something like Balville or whatever. But there are easy ones and there are hard ones. This one would be a slightly hard one. The electric one would be incredibly easy, <laughs> right? 
So, um, well, anyways, there we go. Fantina is kind of sort of in the game. She's also coming out soon, very, very soon as well, um, for, for summoning. <laughs> so I will be summoning for her. Um, I'm not going to go in. I'm not going to five out of five her. I just need one copy and, and, and I'll be good. Um, but anyways, um, tune into that when that drops. Uh, and that's me for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Like and enjoy this video. Subscribe to channel for some more Pokemon Masters content. That might have been the fastest time I, 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 I've tried that. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one.